$900 Sparko seat versus $450 Corbeau seat. Does more expensive mean more better? Let's find out. Is your seat French? Corbeau. Spark Corbeau. <laughs> A few weeks ago, we bought two identical 350Zs and we've been modifying them to turn them into fun daily drivers that we can take to the track. One Z gets the expensive parts Nine. and one Z gets the cheap parts. His. Then we go test them to see which components are actually worth spending your hard earned money on. We've been focusing on improving our car's performance, but today we're focusing on the interior. We're gonna be throwing in some new seats and also adding in roll cages and harnesses. We're gonna be race boys now, boy. I got a set of $900 a piece Sparco QRTR seats. And I got a set of $450 Corbeau FX1 Pro seats. A race seat can hold you in place better and make it easier for you to corner hard. Maybe the more expensive seat has a nicer quality material on it, but the overall shape and size of the seat is really gonna be a matter of personal preference. A cheaper seat might be the right choice anyway if it's gonna be easier for you to live with and drive every day. Do you like that my seat has a six pack? It's a real race seat. It's gonna keep you in place. Downsides, it doesn't feel as streamlined as the Sparco and it's a lot heavier. Pros of the Sparco, overall build quality, top notch. This thing weighs zero pounds. Another pro, it says Sparco right here, and also it says Sparco right here. So if I'm in a parking lot, you walk up on my car, you're gonna be like, what? Installing more supportive seats is an often overlooked modification because they don't directly improve the performance of the car. But if we've learned anything in this series, it's that the best way to improve your car is to improve the driver. So luckily removing the seats in a 300Z is pretty straightforward. It's only four bolts and the seat can come out with the rails on it. Also, we don't have power seats like the high car. Ours are all manual, so we don't have to disconnect any wiring, but we're still gonna pay attention to details and make it look really nice, as nice as we can with the parts we have. I'm excited, let's do this. A good set of racing seats will keep your body in place, allowing you to focus on driving and reduce fatigue during long track days because you're not using your leg muscles to keep yourself from sliding around. The stock seats are also full of farts and both of our cars were smoked in by previous owners so they both smell like casinos. I almost feel bad for all the stuff we're getting rid of in this car. Leather seats, heated, power, this car is like top of the line trim level for 2003. You gotta make some sacrifices if you wanna be a hot boy. This bolt on the far side of the car is just hand tight. Like I didn't even have to put a wrench on it. I mean, if you're in a crash and your bolts let go, it doesn't matter how safe your seat is. Oh man, this thing is heavy. So our stock driver's seat was kind of shaky. And we we're like, why? This is the stock bolt. There were three of those in there. And then this one. The crazy thing is that whoever fixed this was fixing their seat. When you buy a used car, you should check a bunch of stuff because sometimes people don't fix them in safe ways. So we're gonna test fit the uh, seat rails for the aftermarket seat just to make sure everything lines up and we don't run into any problems. Luckily, we got some um, sliding rails too, so there will be adjustment. Sometimes when you install a seat, people make it one size, like their size, and then your buddies can't drive, but we want everyone on Donut to be able to drive these cars, so putting these in. It's gonna be really good or really bad. All right, bro, how's the new office? It's a little high. You're hitting the back right here. That's as far as we can go, actually. I mean, look at Nolan's like a couple inches away from the roof without a helmet on. Imagine with a helmet. And then also, uh, as you can see, his legs are actually off the seat. So the seat's not really supporting his legs, which means that when he's driving, he's going to be holding his legs up, which takes like muscle, you know, to, to keep your legs suspended up and then also having to use the pedals with his feet. And after a while, you really get fatigued doing that and you may not even be conscious of it. I'm actually really glad that Aaron's here for this. Because my arms are nice and because I thought I had enough headroom, I'd be like, all right, now let's tighten everything up. I'm gonna have to say that the seating position, initially, I'm gonna say it's a massive fail. You know how all the build shows have a rock hard deadline? Like, oh, we gotta finish these two Zs in time for my dad's birthday. My wife is in labor. And if I don't finish these two Zs, then I can't see my son be born. I'm realizing now that hard deadline is a production schedule because 
all the cameramen and all the sound guys and stuff got to get paid and you got to pay for the location and stuff. So the production is like, hey, do it really, really fast. But we're not going to front. It's because we can't afford to pay people to be here for the proper amount of time that it might take to complete a project. We're learning together. The world is yours. Ah. We're adding an aftermarket steering wheel on the high car. So we went with a brand new 330 mil steering wheel from Gretti, Boost Brigade. Added bonus, Kangushi, what's up? This is a fun thing if you got like a little kid helping you. In our case, Zach is having me do it. Damn, dude, this thing's steezy. Boom. All right, so went ahead and cut the brackets because they're a little too close to the roof. Alex is a skilled welder. He's gonna clean these up for us, re-weld them, giving us enough space to look left, right, and also be a little bit safer. So we're testing the new seat brackets that Alex made. Already, look, there's so much more headroom. Crazy. All right, so we're gonna try the helmet on. And I mean, look how much, like, so much room. Unhindered now. Unhindered. Safe. Like I oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm pumped on it. Yeah, this thing's ready for the track. So in addition to seats, we're adding roll bars into both cars. If you want to do any kind of wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, most series and tracks require you to have a roll bar and harnesses. Both cars are getting the same universal cage. This is less ideal than having something custom fabricated, but we're in a time crunch. So hopefully they fit. All right, so to protect, to protect our interior plastic from the welder, I'm going to take all the pieces out so they don't get burned. This is actually really easy. We want to put most of it back in after the cage is in there. Again, this is a street car, daily drivable car that we can take to the track if we feel like it. Got to be able to go get groceries. So when you're welding on a roll cage in a car like this, you got to remember to remove all this foam. You'll see this stuff everywhere and they got it all over the place. This stuff is going to catch on fire like crazy. So make sure you take this, get rid of that stuff because it's horrible. A lot of places where people go wrong on these types of installs is they just weld the cage in place without test fitting where the seats are going to be. And if you weld the cage in too far forward, you won't be able to adjust the seat all the way back, which says, you know, okay, well now tall people can't drive our car. Oh shit. Uh -huh. Close? No. Well, that's all the way back on the slider. Oh. So. It's looking like it's not really going to fit. We have a council around the car, and we're going to decide. So We're not comfortable sitting where it's at, and then we put the bar in, and that's pushing it nearly six inches forward, which is just going to make us drive like little T-Rexes, right? The labor costs to make this roll bar fit would exceed the amount of money you would pay to get a proper roll bar and the labor to install it correctly. Even though it's a very big, or what's it called? Like failure. A, yeah. It's a big failure. <laughs> Not so worth it. Our failure is going to save you a lot of money and uh, you know, we're happy to do it. And it'll be fine. We'll get the right parts, it'll work, and we'll have some fun. That's the lesson. After the whole roll bar fiasco, we put everything that we took out of the cars back into the cars, finished tweaking the seating positions, and buttoned everything else up. Basically, we took an entire day to do something that should have taken two hours, but cars is cars, baby. And some days, that's just how it goes. Um, I'm ready to like drive this thing. So good. I know it's not faster, but it feels faster. Yeah, on a stock seat, you're kind of pushing against the car's limits and holding yourself in place. But once you're planning, yeah. you're just playing with the car. We're driving to Albuquerque. It's a 12 hour drive. We're going to go to a racetrack. And these seats are going to be better there. But the 24 hours of driving to and back from Albuquerque, that might be a little I, harsh. I think Nolan's seats might be better. I might wear two pairs of pants. Yeah. The, the, oh. Whoa! Oh, oh, it looks like we found a Nolan! Oh. Hey! Get it, Look at him! He's like a driving boss, dude! He's getting real small, dude! Stocks nice. one were totally fine. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, for a weekend track car, like if you're going like 
drive through the canyon and stuff, you don't want to be moving around. So I think these yeah. would be a pretty good uh, compromise. It feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. You can really yeah, fire yourself around and feel good. Dude, it's so good. It just feels like we just kept saying when we were out there, like, dress for the job you want. We're Z boys, man. We're Z boys. This is what makes figuring stuff out, stuff going wrong, stuff not fitting, worth it. This is cars, man. Like, stuff goes wrong, stuff's hard. You scratch your head, you bleed, you sweat, but then you get to drive it, and it's all worth it. So, Nolan, does more expensive mean more better for seats? I don't think so. No? No. They're a little heavier. Um, and there's not quite as much bolstering as your seats, but I think comfort is a factor for me, and I do think that my cheaper ones are better. I've been driving my Z around every day, and even though I love the Sparkos and I love the seating position and how much they mm -hmm. really hug me, it's really nice. I like I like being hugged. Mm -hmm. A little fun fact about your boy Jimbo: I like a good hug, but I have been daily driving it, and. It is sort of a pain with the egress and degress. Mm -hmm. There's construction by my house, there's a fence by my driveway, so I can't open my door all the way right oh, now. No. But that makes getting out of the car every day pretty annoying. With cages, obviously more expensive means more better because mm -hmm. we both went sort of a cheap <laughs> route and we don't have cages in our car. So definitely based on our experiences, I think you want to take your car to a good fabricator. Learn from our mistakes. We live this life so you don't have to. So $1,800 Sparkos or $900 Crapos. Nolan, what is your pick? The people are dying to know! I think that's actually a really tough decision because the Corbos are more comfortable, but the Sparkos, maybe more than any other part we put on so far, the steez factor on those, pretty high. it makes the gap so much bigger for right. me. I really don't know. My heart says Sparkos, my brain says Corbos. That's good enough for me. I would go with the Sparkos because my brain and my heart are perfectly aligned. They both know what I want, and I want hugs all, all right. the time, no matter if they're from seats or my friends. If you see me at a car show or something, please ask before you hug me. Oh. <laughs> Next week, we got a big old change up. I'm going with a very nice wrap job, mm -hmm. and Nolan is plasti dipping his car by himself. Yep, it went great. He cried. Yep. He literally cried. It goes a little south, and that was fun. I rode on a boat. If you want to be part of our car club, let us know down in the comments. Hashtag boost creeps. It's sick. Be nice. I love you. See you next time. I have a really rare disease, and the doctors say the only cure is if we finish these two Zs. Four and a half hours to finish these two Zs. We're still way behind. The orphan children are going to be so disappointed if we don't get these done. Oh, the shop is on a time bomb, and if we don't finish these two Zs, then we're all gonna blow up inside of it.